in this video, I'm going to be going over the truth about manifestation and why it actually might not be what you think. Let's get into it. Yo, what is good, everybody? It's your boy Noah back again with another YouTube video for you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I help people awaken to their true abilities through wellness and spirituality. And in today's video, I want to go over the subject of manifestation and kind of some of the things, you know, and I want to talk about how to truly, how you can truly manifest, you know what I mean? There's a lot of, you know, stuff online about manifestation and how it has worked for a lot of people. And I want to come on here to explain the most effective way to manifest and why it is, you know, less about what you actually do, you know, um, and, you know, oftentimes with manifestation, I see a lot of people and including myself, you know, very, being very huge on thought, you know, and, and a lot of the times we, when we think things into existence, right, that is the start of the manifestation process. But something that we don't realize is that we tend to put our goals or whatever it is that we're trying to manifest on a pedestal meaning that it has significant value and when we do this you know it's it's very natural for us to do this because these are our goals these are our dreams this is where we want to be right but in order to achieve these goals and these dreams we have to be vibrationally aligned to these dreams now what does that mean shout out to bob proctor but he talks about the Bob Proctor is a law of attraction expert and he talks about the law of vibration a lot and he said if you um, want to know the secret to manifesting study the law of vibration and so what is the law the law of vibration well the law of vibration actually states that everything is energy meaning that everything has a vibrational frequency, including us, you know. Us humans have a vibrational frequency and, you know, it fluctuates day by day, but if we can keep our vibrational frequency very high and if we can be vibrationally aligned to what it is that we actually want, then it is gonna be much easier for us to manifest things into our reality, you know. And being vibrationally aligned simply just means being. You know, you have to be whatever it is that you want to do in your life. You know, whenever I started this YouTube channel, like two, almost two years ago, I decided to become a full-time YouTuber as soon as I picked up my phone and started recording, right? That is how you can manifest your dream life. You know, it, it starts with, with you. And a lot of the times, people tend to think that it is mainly just the thought, you know what I mean, that's gonna manifest. But in reality, it's our thought combined with what how we're feeling. In addition to that, what it is that we actually say. And most importantly, what do we do? You know what I mean, if we wanna become a musician, we have to start acting like a musician. You know, we have to start doing things that we find passion in. You know, what is something that you enjoy doing that you would do for free? You know what I'm saying? What is something that you enjoy doing that you do for free? You know, I, the reason I say free is because the money is always gonna be there. You know, money is energy as well. And when we vibrate very, very high, you know, the money is, is gonna come to us. The money is gonna come to us when we are aligned with our highest goals and dreams, you know, and how you can get in alignment is becoming that of what it is that you wanna manifest, you know. Raising our dominant vibration 
is the most effective way to manifest your dreams and goals, you know? And what do I mean by your dominant vibration? I'm gonna give another shout out to Aaron Dowdy here because he speaks about your dominant vibration as well and he says that it is how you think, how you're actually feeling, and what it is that you're actually doing. So these three things make up our dominant vibration. How we can actually raise our dominant vibration is doing things that are gonna positively affect our life. You know, in terms of what we say to ourselves, how we're thinking, as well as how we're feeling. And some of the things that we're actually doing on a day-to-day -day basis as well. You know, I go into, I have multiple videos talking about ways that you can raise your vibration. And these are gonna help you feel good, you know, because in reality, when we start to feel good, our vibration raises, you know what I mean? It's a lot easier to attract something into your life when you are very, when you are in a very good place, you know what I mean? When you are very, you feel good all the time, you know, and whether that's gratitude, whether that is happiness, right? Whether that is joy, right? Whatever it is, all these are gonna help you manifest the life of your dreams and the life of abundance, you know? But it starts with raising our dominant vibration. You know, it's, it's more about, because when, when, we, when we start to raise our vibration, we start to let go of some of the old patterns that we had in our life that were kind of weighing us down, right? A lot of the times, we walk around with very negative belief systems about ourselves, which, you know, most of the time we're programmed from our parents or our siblings or our current life situation, right? And it's very natural to have, you know, certain patterns in your life that you're so used to, right? If you're used to saying that, I don't know if I'm good enough to be successful, right? I don't know if I'm good enough to pursue my dreams. You know, these are all limiting belief systems that were programmed into a lot of our lives, you know, as, as children, including mine. And so as we start to raise our vibration, you'll start to notice that you'll, you're going to let go. You're going to have to start letting go of some of the old patterns that you once had that were actually holding you back. And when you actually let go of these old patterns, this is going to help boost your vibration a lot. Now. Speaking of vibration, it is very, it fluctuates, right? We're not gonna feel good all the time. We're not gonna feel high vibrational all, all the time. And this is 100% normal, you know what I mean? It's normal to feel, you know, anxious. It's normal to feel nervous, you know what I mean? It's normal to feel sad. We're gonna experience a range of emotions throughout our whole life, and so raising your vibration is only going to help for most of the time. You know what I'm saying? It will help you, but it won't be, you know, permanent. Our vibration, like I said, it's always fluctuating. That is the truth about manifestation. It's not much about what we think. You know, it's more about becoming vibrationally aligned with what it is that we actually want to manifest in our life. You know, and so keep that in mind whenever you are discussing manifestation, as well as trying to manifest your goals and your dreams because it is very possible, guys, and I believe in you. And the first step to manifestation is believing in yourself and truly, truly believe in yourself because I believe in you and I believe that you can achieve whatever it is that you set your heart out to do, truly. And it doesn't matter if people around you, you know, people in your family, people within your bubble, it doesn't matter if they don't believe you, you know what I mean? All that matters is that you believe in yourself. Because at the end of the day, when you get to where you wanna be, those people are gonna come around. You know, and if they don't, then that's on them. You are beautiful. You are very able to manifest the life of your dreams. So keep believing in yourself. And I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. Hope that cleared up a couple things about manifestation. I have a lot of manifestation 
videos, you can check out my Law of Attraction slash Manifestation playlist down in the description. And in those videos, a lot of them talk about how you can actually raise your vibration in order to manifest. But in this video, I wanted to go over what manifestation is and the truth about it, you know, because a lot of us like to think that it's very easy when in reality, it's not, you know, especially if we want to manifest things that are very big. But just because it takes time doesn't mean that it's not possible. And so I'm going to leave you with that. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. If you want to check out amazing wellness products that I've been using for the past month, make sure to click the first link in my description. With that being said, my friends, have a wonderful afternoon, morning, or night, wherever you're at. And peace, love, and happiness. Mwah.